morning, welcome to New Zealand. Thanks for joining me. Well, um, excuse me, I'm just having my morning coffee. Sorry about the headgear and the and the hat because it's bloody cold here this morning. Um, if you remember last video, I was talking about being down here at National Park. Uh, this is just like a continuation. This is like a part two from the last video, or just a you know continuum of the last video. Today we're going to be hitting um, a couple of walks through National Park. Um, this, there's a two-legged walk I want to do today, um, the uh, Taranaki Falls and then the Tama Lakes, um, which carries on from Taranaki Falls. So oh, ideally, if I can uh, manage to vlog both of those uh, both of those walks, they would be kind of cool, and uh, hopefully I can do that. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long to uh, to do the vlog, so that means I can continue the, the walk and, you know, we can... We can get both, encapsulate both of those walks into one little episode for you today so you can check out the beautiful scenery down, down here. So um, you put your feet up while I do all the walking and we're going to check out some beautiful, uh, beautiful, um, pristine kind of landscapes this morning. Stay tuned. Well, oh, what a day that was. Um, I'm going to run through my day step by step what happened to me. Well what a day it was. Um, so I started out getting a reasonably good start this morning. Um, got up to Whakapapa at about um, 8 o'clock I think it was. And when I started the sun was coming up and it was pretty, conditions looked pretty good. But um, within about 10 minutes um, the rain just came in. Well 10 minutes, 20 minutes. 15 minutes into my walk I guess and um, it started snowing um, we have just closed in here so I'm just taking some shelter here and um, just a five minutes see if it just clears up a bit Um, and by the time I got to uh, to the top of the falls, to Taranaki Falls, uh, it was just blowing a gale. Well, just arrived at the falls and um, finally got some shelter out of the um, out of the snow, little light misty snow here. Uh, hopefully, I think you'll be beginning a bit on the, on the lens here, I apologise, but I'm here. Um, look, I'm not going to take any shots of this waterfall, um, simply because it's not really my kind of thing. Um, I don't want to do that stereotypical waterfall shot. I'm going to show you the video, the video, you've seen the video shots of it, and I think that, that, that does it justice enough. And um, I don't want to do an injustice to it by copying everybody else. And uh, Once you've seen one waterfall, you've seen them all. <laughs> I then decided on. to carry on um, up to the lakes. That's another two hours walk from the falls. And I was kind of umming and ahhing at the time because it was blowing pretty hard. I walked for about 45 minutes and it just got worse and it got worse and it got worse and to the point where I literally got blown over by the by the force of the wind. Now I'm a pretty big guy. I'm sort of like 95 kgs pretty big and it takes a lot to knock me over but I just I, I, I pretty much literally got blown over by that wind and the snow was getting thicker the rain was getting heavier well after a little bit of deliberation I think I'm gonna I'm gonna head back because uh, it's just closing in more and more here and I don't know the I don't know the um, I don't know the area I don't know the conditions, I'm new up here um, and I think it's probably best for my safety is to, is to head back so um, so um, yeah the last thing I want to do is get killed doing my vlog <laughs> that'd be a bit of a bummer <laughs> so um, I'm gonna yeah I'm just gonna start heading back before I get too far into this walk I'll probably come up through about 40 minutes I've got an hour and 40 to go back and I think it's best so stick in there we're going to go and do something else today we're going to go and do something else I'm going to get back to somewhere dry somewhere warm get some food get some coffee and then we'll carry on make a plan B for the rest of the day 
Okay, see you in a minute. So once I finished lunch, I decided to um, to just carry on driving around the park. Um, it's probably about another 130 kilometres round trip, and um, just taking some of the views. This is this bloody great big bridge and I'm going to get my drone out and I'm going to go and take some food to this. Um, wind's getting up so hopefully it won't be too windy to put the drone out. And hopefully you can hear me because I haven't got my mic on at the moment. Just got the camera mic on so uh, hopefully you can hear me. But uh, pretty spectacular, awesome. What an awesome, uh, awesome structure. I'm going to see what this thing's called and I'll come back and tell you. This is the Makatoti Viaduct and um, I'm going to just go and take some photos to get some video of it. Hopefully, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let's go. Coming through a small town called Radahi, um, which is kind of on the outskirts of National Park, and I thought I'd just come through here and just take a few photographs actually, because uh, it's, it's a wee bit sad because it's a dying town. It's very, it's indicative of, of a lot of small towns here in New, in New Zealand. You know, these towns are dying. Um, shops are closing up. Economies are kind of uh, getting hit, and um, yeah, uh, and you're kind of just left with towns that are becoming ghost towns uh, and um, sad but a reality I guess so I'm just going to pass through here get a few shots and uh, carry on carry on around uh, around the park Been driving around the desert road, tried to get some photography done, but just the conditions are just just terrible. Um, almost got uh, snowed out on the desert road coming over here. So what I've done, I've come back down to Turangi, uh, down low here. It's quite nice actually, no wind, it's quite warm, and um, one of the things I love when I come through Turangi is that um, um, obviously it's big 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 on uh, trout fishing down here and there's a river as you come over the bridge and there's a bunch of uh, usually pretty much any time you come here there's a bunch of guys fishing here uh, in the river so I'm just going to stop here for a 
half an hour or so and um, do some photography actually. Um, just catch the, the fishermen on the river here. I think it's quite poetic, it's quite artistic. Well that's it, basically. Um, I didn't get time to record the, um, the outro down in um, Taupo. And as you can see, I'm back home now. So that was, um, that was a week or two ago. And uh, I just got around to editing the final piece of footage from that, uh, that trip. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed those three episodes. Um, I enjoyed going down there. Different, uh, a different environment. Photography was kind of a bit off and on there, um, we were was really testing. That uh, the last couple of days I was there was just really testing. The wind was just horrific, um, really difficult to get out and shoot. But um, you know, hope you enjoyed what you saw anyway, and uh, it was just kind of cool to experience it. Back home now, and um, back into my own kind of uh, my own world here, and uh, lots lots of things to kind of go out and play around with in the next couple of episodes in my backyard here. Um, Talking about that, I'm going to be doing a bit of film in the next few episodes. I've just been dying, dying to get back into some film. Um, and I've got loads of film stock in my fridge that needs to be used. So the next few episodes, we're going to be hitting some film. Uh, can't wait to get back into that. Um, I'm going to wrap up now. Um, I'm going to just flow out with a few more pictures from my trip. Um, fortunately, it wasn't, wasn't, a, wasn't a, a huge success from a photography point of view. Um, the, the, you know, from... The, I had a couple of good days, or a couple, one good day in particular, on the desert road, photography-wise. Um, but the, the other two days um, I was there, it was a little bit testing, a little bit testing, and a little bit hard to get uh, to get good pictures. But I'm going to show you a couple on the outro here. Um, hope you enjoy them. Um, yeah, so that's it. So I'm going to I'm going to head off. I'm going to show you these pictures. Um, please, um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so. Uh, go and check out my Instagram, my Facebook, and my website. All those links are in the uh, show notes below um, go follow me on instagram and uh, check out my feed that would be awesome i appreciate it um, that's it here are the pictures until next time um, please take care come back again hi from new zealand goodbye <laughs>